Good evening to all of the councilmen and women. My name is Tanisha Walls Bly. I am a member of the justice system. I am Alan Bluford's big cousin. I am a licensed attorney in the state of Florida. I am a product of Oakland, California. I was born and raised in Oakland. I graduated from Castlemont High School, attended Howard University and University of Miami School of Law. I say that to say that I am everything that my cousin no longer has a chance to become. I am here to speak directly to you, Councilman Larry Reed, as president of this council and as the councilman for District 7. I'm sure all of you have read the facts or the stories that are said related to the circumstances or the fictional circumstances surrounding my cousin's death. My cousin attended Skyline High School where my husband is vice president. He rode to and from school with my husband. I am very close to my cousin. I babysat him when he was a little boy. There is no way that he possessed the character that has been set forth in the media by Oakland Police Department. The articles that we read were posted on Oakland Police Department's webpage. The lieutenant or inspector of the Oakland Police Department is the one that told my aunt and uncle that their son was involved in a gun battle. The chief of police confirms that he never fired a firearm. And we stand before you to say that he is not the type of person that would have even carried a gun. We are seeking the truth. That's what we want. We don't want it six months from now. We were told yesterday that the police department has up to six months to file a report. We want the truth now. We deserve the truth now. My uncle and aunt does not, they do not deserve to sit around for six months and wait to find out what happened to their son. But more importantly, Councilman Larry Reed, the people in District 7 and throughout the city of Oakland, to all of you councilmen and women, are scared to speak. We have heard some very gruesome things surrounding the death of Alan Bluford, surrounding the death of this child. And you know what people say? They're scared to speak out, not against what we would refer to as the typical gangsters, but against the police department because they're scared of what the police will do to them. We are here asking for your support, your real support, not statements that you're going to support us, not statements that you're going to work tires, tirelessly to, to make the community of Oakland better. We're asking for real action. There is no way that the people of Oakland should sit around scared to speak out about the very people that are here to protect and serve us. There is no reason why an 18-year-old child getting ready to graduate from Skyline High School, they put out all these things in the media that he was such a bad kid. He only needed four classes to graduate. He was a senior in high school taking four classes, not a full load. How bad of a kid could he have been? My husband produced his report card a couple of days ago, two A's and two C's. This was not a bad kid. Maybe he lacked judgment. Who did it at some point during their teenage years? But he was a good kid with loving parents and a huge family that supported him and loved him and saw the best in him and reminded him day in and day out that you are someone very important. You're loved by God, you're loved by us, and you are going to be a success. This child was on his way to making a difference in our communities. And they snatched him away from us. His funeral is Thursday. It is still 
unrealistic to us that he is gone. He's gone. They just snatched him away for no reason. Because two hot-haired cops decided to roll up on three children with their lights off and their guns drawn because they were three black young, young boys standing outside? Is that a crime? Do we not have civil rights also? I am really pleading with the council men and women here to stand up. And I don't mean to make this an issue about race because it's not. But I'm looking at you, and many of you are African-American. Councilman Larry Reed, you are an African-American male. If you have boys, if you have grandchildren, sons, this could have been one of them. He wasn't doing anything wrong, but he's dead. And so please stand up and make a difference. Do it voluntarily or else we are here to make sure that we ride your tails until you do.